Thank you for tuning in to the Belleville Crokinole Challenge, a Tier 1 National Crokinole Association event. Today we have a very exciting matchup for you. On your left, Devin Fortino, the newcomer to the competitive Crokinole scene. This is his first ever tournament and is now in the finals, defeating Andrew Hutchinson in the semifinal bout in what will be remembered as one of the greatest upsets in competitive Crokinole history. And on your right, we have feared Crokinole legend Justin Slater, who has been an absolute menace at this tournament. He was at the top of his pool in the morning, the top of his pool in the afternoon, and broke his own world record in the morning with the most 20 scored in a singular round robin with 149 20 scored over nine games, an average of 16.520s per match over half his shots converted. This finals match is a race to 11. Let's get right to it. And with final approval from Miltonburg, we are off for Tino to shoot first and Slater having the first hammer of this game. We talked about Slater's record breaker in the morning, but Fortino is no slouch in the 20s game either. In the A pool, he scored 158 20s over 10 games, which I believe is the most 20s that was scored in the A pool that afternoon. Fortino first to miss, and it looks like Justin was trying to roll away, but not quite far enough and didn't lose the opponent's disc. Fortino unable to capitalize, and we will see if Justin goes for a 20 or if he goes back on the defensive. He does have hammer, so in a somewhat advantageous spot right now. Fortino left with a difficult shot, an easy backboard 20 for Slater on his next move. Looks like Fortino's going to try to mess with that shot, hitting the natural disc on his way through, and unable to get it, invalid, knocks off his own disc, and in turn, loses his shooter. Fortino trying to go for that disc between the post. Slater now going on the defense keeping his discs to the fringes of the post. Fortino trying to catch a post, but just rolling out a little bit. And Slater content to play on the outside here. Very nice 20 from Fortino, but all Slater needs is a valid shot, and he will take the first two points of this race to 11. We got a replay of Fortino's shot there. Very nice. I believe we saw him do a similar shot against Hutchinson in the semifinal round. Oh, Slater going long. Fortino with an opportunity to get ahead in the cup right off the bat and comes up short. This will basically be a reset as Slater gets the off and a 20. Open back to Fortino. We are 1-1 one and, one and we are right back to this 20s race. You're going to notice next round in round 3, the players are going to switch sides of the board. This is a special rule at the Belleville Crokinole Challenge. Every two rounds, players switch discs, and they switch sides. This will continue through the duration of the match. Just a heads up so you don't get confused when it happens. I'll also point it out there. Slater now up in the 20s cup and leaving his disc in a tough spot for Fortino to get back in. More than content to leave his disc in a spot that a roll-in is difficult. Yep, that post got in the way. Down to Slater's last shot, and he peels, leaving Fortino no opportunity to catch up in the 20s cup. Taking the second round of this game, bringing the score 4-2-0. We see some nice shots from Slater, and that last one, specifically strategic. That ensured Fortino could not win. Here's that side switch that I was talking about. Again, every two rounds, they're going to switch sides and switch discs. Opening up with 20s. The video was cut a little bit, but these players didn't even take practice shots beforehand. They, uh, they just sat down and started playing, which uh, you got to respect. No warm-up. Most people, you switch discs, you switch sides of the board. You might at least want one practice 20, but not these guys because they're professionals. And we are halfway through our shots, and Slater is the first to miss. Lipping out on the far side, and Portino. Loses his shooter, giving Slater an opportunity to catch up in the 20s cup. And we are right back to it. Three shots to go. Fortino coming up short. Slater capitalizing on the backboard. Doesn't get the off. But, again, Slater does have hammer in this round. 
so he just needs the off, which he gets. And that disc might be very well posted. At the very least, Fortino will have a tough time just shooting through the middle. He might have to go through Hogan's Alley if he wants the off. I stand corrected. Able to get that. Wasn't as posted as I thought it was. Slater here, up five points on the board. We'll take this round, bring the score 6 2 0. See that backboard 20? That allowed Slater to catch up in the cup. Slater opening up with the 20 14 0 now with Hammer. Want to give a shout out to the Quinty Region Crokinole Club who hosted this fantastic tournament. I personally had a great time, and it sounds like a lot of other people did as well. So thank you, Slater, coming up short. Fortino capitalizing now ahead in the cup with Hammer. Big advantage for Fortino here. And unrelenting with the 20s. Something I particularly appreciate is how these top players can go from normal Crokinole play right back to their 20s game. But Justin... Going a bit long there in Fortino with a great roll away, leaving almost no opportunity for Slater to get in. At this point, even if Slater gets the off and a 20, all Fortino would need is a valid shot. And Fortino takes his first points of this match, bringing the score 6-2. to two. We see that beautiful roll away, and I don't think a lot of people really appreciate just how amazing of a shot that is. That's essentially an angle shot just not towards the 20 just the opposite direction of the 20 to get play away from the center you still have to get between the posts and it's very impressive here we are again in this aggressive 20s battle Fortino the first to miss coming up short and we see Slater he does this all the time rolls in between the posts just completely blocking the laneway so players aren't able to get play back to the center the one and only shot is a follow through, which is mighty difficult. See Fortino go for that, and he does follow through, unfortunately, a bit too close to the center. Slater now going for the 20, unable to get it, but bounces off to between the posts. He's on the fringes of the 15 now, not leaving a lot of opportunity for Fortino. Able to pull playback, but doesn't get the off. Slater with hammer, three discs on the board. Fortino has a lot of cleanup and not a lot of shots to do it with. Slater content to hit and stick there. Fortino trying to get that final 20, I'm assuming. Not quite able, and Slater will take this round, bringing the score 8-2. to two. See that beautiful roll away? We see him all the time, placing just between the laneways, just between the laneways. Absolutely beautiful strategy from Justin Slater. A little twirl of the 20 there from Fortino as that shot drops. Fortino taking his time. Both players taking their time with these 20 shots. And Fortino lips out, giving a backboard opportunity for Slater. Bit of a hanger, but he converts nonetheless. Now up to in the cup a good advantage to have playing against the hammer there will need to be a few mistakes out of Slater for Fortino to get back into this round and so far he seems very unrelenting on those 20s there's not much Fortino can do but keep up and hope he gets a mistake out of Slater if Slater makes this last shot it'll be inconsequential and that is a perfect round for Slater to get him to the score of 10 to 2 in this match. This is a race to 11, so now even if Slater ties, he will have won the Belleville Crokinole Challenge for his second year in a row. If I remember correctly, Justin has attended the Belleville Challenge five times before this and has won the Belleville Challenge five times before this. So if he wins this match, he will be 6-4-6 six six on Belleville Championships. Slater missing, leaving an opportunity for Fortino. A tough one, but he might have left an angling opportunity here for Slater. Going for it doesn't quite get it. Fortino is up in the cup right now, but he is playing against the hammer. 
So he does need to be careful here. Slater most likely to go on the offense here unless he can get a very nice hide. But with play still between the posts, not likely. Doesn't get the off there. Wardino places his disc nicely. And oh! Slater switching aggressively from his defensive play strategy right to offense with a beautiful follow through. Wardino still up in the 20s cup. Able to keep the lead with an open 20. Oh! Wardino doesn't get the off. With this last shot, Slater has tied the round and won the Belleville Kroganol Challenge. You hear the applause from the crowd. Congratulations to Slater on winning this. Great performance from both players. We see that last shot. That was absolutely gorgeous. What a way to win the game. Thank you again for tuning in to this National Crokinole Association coverage. If you enjoy this match, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to join the expanding Crokinole universe. On screen, we have some of the upcoming events in the NCA Tour. To find more information on these tournaments, go to the National Crokinole Association website. These tournaments are open to all, and Fortino has shown the world that you can be a newcomer, pull up to this competitive Crokinole scene, and kick some proper butt. So make sure to sign up because we'd love to see you out there. My name is Garrett Tracy and make it a great day.